What was the weirdest part of the pandemic? Any type of party on Zoom. I don't remember 2021 at all. My sense of time was skewed. 2020 blended into early 2022. I still have to think twice about when certain events happened. I live a block away from a very busy highway. While I never really noticed the sound of the highway, when it was gone, the silence was amazing. When a bunch of celebrities sang a John Lennon song thinking it'd inspire people or some shit. I remember some of the restaurants near me started selling groceries during lockdown. It was so weird walking past a high-end restaurant known for its oysters only to see stacks of toilet paper, six packs of beer, non-perishable foods, etc. in its windows. How fast time went for me, I feel like I lived in a time bubble. Went in early 2020, came out late 2022. What is a pronunciation error that annoys you? Supposedly. Specifically. I once had a colleague at work who pronounced fiscal year as physical year. It drove me absolutely bonkers. Etc. as EC. Absolutely maddening. Across. Pacific instead of specific. Strength. Liberi. Nuclear. Edit. Frustrating. When people say data instead of data. Expresso. When you can't hear, you're deaf. Escape. Drowned. My own assistant at work pronounces sill as seal. I try to emphasize sill every time I have occasion to say it, but it never works. What's a musical hill you're willing to die on? Modern country music is unlistenable. Radio stations should play more than 250 songs. If you're in the right place at the right time, Orinoco Flow is one of the greatest driving songs ever. Edit. I haven't seen Gran Turismo or the Hyundai ad. Last year I did a driving trip. There were long stretches of coastline with mountains on one side and ocean on the other. It was evening with the sun going down, still warm enough to have the windows open and cruise but the sky was different shades of red and stormy out over the ocean. The song suited perfectly. Talent shows have added little or no value to music as a whole. That one hill that Maria was singing on in The Sound of Music was pretty nice. I'd die there. Which good celebrity do you find suspicious? Something about Will Smith always rubbed me the wrong way, and I mean always. Like even from Fresh Prince and Boom Shake the Room Times, long before his wife's name was in anyone's fucking mouth. Oprah, I have never liked her. Always gave me bad vibes. People used to be obsessed and saw her as this beacon of goodness. At her height, thinking otherwise was practically blasphemous. Is JLo considered good now? I feel like she does dark voodoo or something I always felt like there was something darker than just being a diva. Ryan Seacrest. He has a well in his basement and a yard full of buried bones. I can feel it. What is something that you can't go wrong having at least two of at home? Toilets. Underwear. Cats. Phone chargers. Having extra phone chargers can be useful when you misplace one or when guests need to charge their phones. Flashlights. Power outages happen, and having two, odds are better at least one will be working when you need it. If at least one of them is a heavy, maglite style type, you have a personal defense weapon in case of intrusion, too. Fire extinguishers. Two spare rolls of toilet paper for those emergencies. No one has ever regretted having an extra roll of toilet paper. Scissors. I always seem to lose them. We have three scissors but two are always missing. The found one rotates. Toothbrushes. 